We're the Adovas. This is how we met. Oh, start. We met 24 years ago, and this is a story of how we met. No, you're not supposed to say that. We're the Adovas from Lafayette, and this is how we met. Back then, in 1996, you had dial-up, and most of the time, uh, you couldn't either get on or you would finally get on to where you wanted to be, and you'd get kicked off. And there were certain times of the day where you couldn't get on at all. With well, a so. busy dial tone, you know, you'd oh. hear that, that screeching sound and you'd <laughs> celebrate, you know, it was connecting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know it was such a thing back then. Yeah, I'd never heard of it. I didn't even know what a chat room was uh, other than a friend telling me this is a place where you can go and talk with people. And I thought, talk with people over the internet? What the heck is that? Yeah, that sounds kind of weird. It was very unique. And uh, so really, I only knew of one place. And it was where people gathered, where they got to talk. And, and that's where everything started. <laughs> no emojis. We had to get creative, you know, with different special characters to create <laughs> emojis. Yes. So we were more skilled back then. Yeah. I was not in a good place in my life at the time. I was actually very depressed and um, really just in a very dark time in my life. And when my girlfriend said, hey, there's this place where you can go and talk to people, I thought, oh my gosh, this really is an opportunity for me to uh, be kind of in a safe place where I can still talk to people. And so for me, that moment that I logged into this complete unknown of what was about to happen to know that at the exact same moment, Andrew logged in and we started a conversation. It was, it was crazy. It was, it was definitely um, completely unheard of, but it, probably the best moment of my life for sure. What do they say? Serendipity? We're each other's serendipity. Absolutely. Mm. And it was, it was very scary for me because of where I was in my life, being a mom with four small children. And I also uh, was very, very morbidly obese at the time. So to be in my position, uh, here's this young man that at the time was 21 when we first met online. Uh, it, I didn't feel it was necessary at the time for me to share about all of that because again, this was just, just a, a friendship. friendship. Eventually it came to that point where I finally opened up and told him about my life and myself. and and my children, and then it really got serious from there. Fast. <laughs> Very fast. That was a defining moment. People thought we were crazy. They mm -hmm. really thought Maybe we had we completely were. lost our minds. <laughs> they just didn't understand how I could possibly have a relationship with someone on the other side of the world. You had no ability of sending pictures through the computer. And so you did it the old fashioned way where you took pictures of yourself and you, and you mailed them. And I remember that day getting those pictures in the mail and looking at them and thinking, oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> it was, wow. it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I, you know, I'm showing my friend and she's like, wow, Kim, that's quite a score there. So. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you. <laughs> you were a surfer? A surfer? Australian surfer? Um. <laughs> I was a wannabe. I really wasn't much of a surfer, but oh, he's a I, great I took a surfer. picture with a surfboard because I was like, you know, that looks <laughs> cool, right? An Australian surfer dude, but I really wasn't a surfer. <laughs> no, he is now. <laughs> that was my confession. He surfs. He, surfs. he, uh, he contacted me and said, I think it's time that I fly to the United States to meet you in person. And I decided, what the heck? What do I have to lose, really? You know, either it works out or it doesn't work out. I'll never forget the moment that he walked up to me and he gave me a hug and he looked at me in the eyes and he said, I love you and I'm never leaving you. And what you have to understand is I weighed almost 300 pounds at that point. I had no self-confidence. And for this man to say, I'm never leaving you and I love you, <clears throat> you don't believe it. You just don't think it's ever gonna, ever really gonna happen. It was an amazing day. The weight was never an issue. It was the best day of my life. I mean, it was way more than superficial, you know. When you meet someone and you just connect like that, mm -hmm. honestly, nothing, nothing else matters, you know. You, like you found your other half. I know it sounds cliche, but 
I never believed in that, but yeah, it really did happen. I was, I mean, I was trembling. I remember at one point I was hyperventilating, thinking, "I'm going to pass out before this guy <laughs> even gets off the plane," you know. <clears throat> but it, uh, it was an incredible moment. It, it once he, once he actually got off the plane, just everything flowed. Everything felt normal and comfortable. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do you remember what dress she was wearing? Oh goodness. Was it that, that white dress with sort of the, the, the flowers on it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Woohoo! He scored some points there. Oh, man. <laughs> I was not prepared for that question. It's, it's kind of crazy because um, my grandmother actually left me a little bit of inheritance, and she told me before she passed away to, to make sure that I invest that money in something that will change my life, something wonderful. And I thought a long time about how, you know, wow, what a lot of pressure. You know, I've got to think of something. And then the moment came where I thought, oh my gosh, a computer for my children. And I never imagined ever that through getting that computer, thanks to my grandmother, that that would lead me to meeting Andrew. So it was a really, it was like it was all planned out, meant to be, <laughs> because without that, I wouldn't have been able to get a computer. And without the computer, I never would have met Andrew. So I think my grandmother had a little role in that for me. So it's nice to think at least. <laughs> She's just so full of life and so upbeat and she, you know, sometimes I'll be down and she just always manages to bring me back up and I just love that about it. Just so full of life. Oh my goodness. His patience, his incredible patience and just willingness to work through whatever situation comes up, his calmness, you know, having seven children and ha having them all very close in age is not an easy task for large families. <laughs> we have seven kids and we have eight grandkids as of yesterday. Yep. Baby Ayla was, was born, born yesterday. Uh, yesterday afternoon. Australia Day. On Australia Day, yes. How great is that? 